flying through the clouds is just so relaxing. You're just up there and you're all by yourself. It's like nothing I can describe. When you're actually in control of the airplane, you really feel like you're on top of the world. It's completely different from being a passenger in the airplane. And it's like a roller coaster, but it's just so much fun to be at the controls. It makes the experience a hundred times greater. The responsibilities in a plane, there's so much more to worry about at once. It's all that multitasking. Yeah, driving a car is nothing now, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I really love it. Our students choose to take our aviation program for a variety of reasons, whether it's to learn how to fly as a future vocation or just to get involved in an aviation industry, whether it be air traffic control or maintenance. They get into aviation because it helps them learn confidence, breed self-esteem. I do have a passion for flying. I have a passion for teaching others how to fly. I spent 30 years in the Navy, all flying in fighters, uh, F-14s, F-18s. My father's actually a pilot. I wanted to, you know, pursue that. And avionics, aviation, was in my life since I was born. I wanted to become more interested in that and also take part in that in the aviation program here. Aviation started at Culver in the 1920s. They received some surplus float planes from the Navy after World War I. We taught aviation with these float planes on Lake Maxincucky for about five years, from 1920 to 25. It started back up again in the 1970s, and Culver was actually the first high school to own and operate its own airport. That program went great for about 40 years. Uh, so what we think we've done now is set up a, a aviation school that can provide the best quality instruction for our students in a very unique situation where our, our summer school students show up for six weeks and then they go home for 10 months and then they come back. What we refer to as Aviation 3.0 at Culver uh, is a completely different model than what we've tried in the past. We've adopted an online training course uh, that the students purchase. The, the kit is good for life. It's an online program that allows the student to stay with their program, stay engaged in their learning all year round, even though they're only at Culver for six weeks during the summer. We've learned how to make it very effective through the programs that we've put into place. I chose aviation because I really love flying. I, every time I'm on an airplane, I'm always looking out the window when we take off. I'm so excited for that, and I love just being up in the air. And this gives me the opportunity to fly, which I'd never done before I came here. This is the only experience I've ever had flying, and it's just amazing. So that's why I chose aviation. Flight simulators, they do a whole lot of things to help a student learn how to fly. And they make it uh, more affordable for the parents to have their son or daughter learn how to fly. First of all, flight simulators are very efficient. You can set up a particular scenario, perhaps one that a student is having difficulty with, set it up, hit the go button, and they're, they're flying, they're at it, they're, they're working whatever the maneuver happens to be. As soon as they get through the maneuver, pause, replay, restart, and they can fly the same scenario again and again until they actually get it. To do that same sort of a teaching progress in an airplane might take multiple flights to set it up and, and put the, the student through the paces. It also, we find it takes the angst out of actually stepping into an airplane for the first time. They've seen it, they've done it in a simulator, and so when they step into an airplane, there's a little bit of confidence already that they understand what they're doing and they're gonna be able to do it just fine. It helps a lot. For example, like when I flew, I was doing exactly that, just working in the pattern, and it saved a lot of time because I wouldn't have to go and rework the pattern the entire time. When I was working specifically on landings, I would you know, go in for the landing, land, and then just hit the reset button and work on a different approach. So that, that saved a ton of time. I like that a lot, a lot more practice in it. Oh, it, it's cool, it's really cool because, you know, the instructor's there to help you, but you, you realize you're the one pulling back on the yoke and you're the one making it take off. It feels great, you know, it's just that you're, you're the one controlling it. It's, it's an amazing feeling.
The flight simulators, we think, are key to the program because it allows our students to get at the controls of an airplane, though a simulated airplane, but right on campus. It's a quarter of the cost of a flight hour in an airplane, yet you accomplish so much. Uh, it doesn't replace flying, but it certainly augments and makes the flying that the students do go out and accomplish that much more effective. Flying is a great feeling. My favorite part about flying would actually be the takeoff because, you know, you're sitting at the end of the runway and then you go full throttle and then just lifting up and that sensation of being airborne right off the ground, that's, that's it's exciting. And then climbing towards the sky, that's my favorite part of flying. And it's just the most relaxing feeling in the world, just sitting up there and being all alone in a plane by yourself. It's just fantastic. We're really proud of how our aviation program has matured over the last two or three years. The new model of uh, partnering with an FAA certified flight school to provide the training for our students at our facility in Stark County Airport, Knox, Indiana, approximately 18 miles from campus. They are soloing, they are flying night flights, cross country flights, and passing their FAA written exam. And if they're 17 years of age before they leave, they have a great chance of earning their private pilot's license while they were here at Culver. Among the things that makes uh, our Culver summer experience unique is our aviation program with a FAA certified commercial aviation uh, flight instruction firm. We've had several kids who've been able to solo this summer and we have several more who are actually on the verge of getting their private pilot's license. The, the skills I learned here in flying, I would apply them to I guess my future goal which would be acquiring my private pilot's license. I'm learning a lot of things with, with self-control and keeping calm because when you're in a situation in an airplane, you, you, that's one thing you do not do is panic. When I'm up flying with my instructor, he'll, he'll go through that and we'll stall the airplane, you know, try and stay calm and then he'll do it and then he'll give you a chance to do it. And then, you know, you take the controls, do the maneuver and recover from it. Well, we want to keep our feet on the rudders. The right rudder, yes. Okay. The online course is something that we can track student progress throughout the year. We understand where the students are in their curriculum when they come back and we can schedule simulators and flights accordingly as soon as they return back from their 10 months off from the summer school. What do I tell my friends about Culver is basically the same thing what I've heard from the people that told me about Culver, you know, so new experiences. The fun that you have here, the experiences you have here will be a summer of a lifetime, the greatest summer you'll ever have. Culver, of course, has helped me choose a future career towards aviation. They're just little stepping stones towards that big goal that I, want, that I would like to achieve. It's really cool, you know, you're sitting there in parade and you hear the planes flying over. It's almost like a, like a support right there. I like it a lot. I think our students that leave here, regardless of what age they are, they go home and they're walking taller. They have experienced some fun this summer. They've experienced some challenges in the summer. And this all translates to a, a student who is far more at ease with himself or herself and less startled by the events of life uh, because they, they understand that they can handle it. They've, They've been challenged, they know they can meet the challenge. I think that's one of the wonderful things about Culver.